All right, all right. Shalom, Yahshua. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and the glorification to our Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rocha Hakodash, and double honors unto my apostles, my elders, our great Muslim, our well, and peace and love and mercy unto the sincere elect. Okay, the hundred forty-four thousand, and Shalom unto the one third. All right. Um, as you see here on your screen, you know this is going into the Vatican, basically allowing you know transgender Catholics to be baptized and. I saw this a couple of days ago, um, and immediately, you know, I thought about, uh, you know, the precept, you know, in the book of Revelation, where it talks about, you know, the spirit of the false prophets, okay, and, you know, our elders and our apostles, you know, have broken down, you know, the true understanding of the three unclean spirits, which is going into the, you know, three city states, okay, which, you know, one of them is dealing with the Roman Catholic Church, okay, the Vatican, okay, which is the false prophets, Okay, and then you have um, London, which is dealing with the financial. Okay, and then you got uh, Washington, D.C., okay, which is going into the military, man. Okay, so with those, you know, basically three, okay, that's how Esau has, you know, um, a grip, okay, um, and power and rule over the whole world. Okay, when he goes into the book of, uh, uh, the book of Job chapter 9, verse 24, where it says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, okay, Esau is able to control all aspects, okay, of things, okay, by what? By pushing forth, okay, or by having control of these three, okay, the finance, okay, all these different banks and so on and so forth, okay, religion, okay, whether it's Islam or whatever, it all stems from the mouth of the false prophets, which is what? The Roman Catholic Church, okay? And then the military, okay, everywhere, you know, where war is happening, you know that nigga Esau is making money somewhere, somehow, okay, so he's able to control, you know, um, and says what goes and what doesn't, and then before you know it, okay, you know, um, by creating all of these different wars, he's able to reap all the benefits from it, okay, while a lot of people are getting killed and so on and so forth, all right, and so the scriptures talk about what, again, that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, Okay, and that he covered the faces of, of the judges there, you know, thereof. If not, where and, where and who is he? If it's not Esau, Edom, okay, then where and who is he? And so this right here, the Vatican moves closer to allowing transgender Catholics to be baptized. Where is that in the scriptures? Okay, where is that in the scriptures, man? Where in the scriptures does it say that you can allow, okay, you know, sodomites, okay, and basically people who are going two ways, all right? to be, you know, uh, basically accepted in the church, which again, right, the mouth of the false prophets. So the scriptures, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh the prophecies is exposing, okay, you know, these people for what they are, all right? The scripture says that if they, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them, okay? Nowhere in the scriptures did the Lord accept, okay, these people into, into, into the church, Okay, into the body. All right. And so you got people, average Joes, waking up basically saying, you know, that these people have sold out, etc. and so on and so forth. It's because that's the truth. All right. And, you know, with Esau basically having power over the whole earth, he's basically now just at a point where he's not even hiding it anymore. He's telling you what it is. All right. He's telling you what it is. He's not even hiding it anymore. But you're going to have a lot of people who will just say, oh, well, it's not happening in my church or as if, you know, it's not going to impact them. All right. Because, you know, a lot of people are just ignorant to the fact that, yo, you know, that the Roman Catholic Church has control and power over all of these different religions. All right. And so on and so forth, because that's where, you know, all of these religions came out of. OK. And so, you know, let me in the book of uh, Revelation. OK. Chapter 16. Verse uh, 13, all right? And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast, okay? The beast system, man, okay? Which is basically, hey, man, America is Rome all over again, all right? When you look at the, you know, um, when you look at the infrastructure, okay? You know, when you look at the ways that things are being done, okay? You see? You know, when you look at, you know, all of these unrighteous decrees that's getting pushed forth, 
That's why the scriptures talk about how that what that his deadly wounds are going to be healed. So Esau is going to come back into rulership again. You see, and like the elder, um, you know, Joshua Wamba, you know, he just did a video recently. Um, and he said it's ironic that the Romans were ruling when Yahweh was in the scene. And guess what? They're going to be ruling again when Yahweh returns. Hence why the scriptures talk about how what? In the book of Revelation chapter, you know, 1 verse 7. Let me get it. You see, it says this right here. It says, Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Okay? Those that pierced Yahweh Shah were the Romans. All right? So when Yahweh Shah returns again, okay, those same people that pierced him, they're going to see Yahweh Shah. All right? They're back here again in the earth. Okay, not only are people reincarnated, but also empires are reincarnated too. All right? So it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so Amun. All right, now let's go back to the book of Revelation, chapter 13, so like chapter 16, as we were reading earlier, verse 13. All right, and I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out, of, and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophets. For they are the spirit of devils working miracles, man. Okay. When you go into, you know, um, and you do research about the Vatican, okay, and so on and so forth. Hey, man, yo, these people, okay, are worth trillions and trillions of dollars, okay, off of what? Donations, you know, you know, I'm a people who follow them. Okay, and all the fear tactics in which they use to get the people, okay, to basically pay the church and so on and so forth, man. Okay, working miracles. Okay, pushing forth all of these unrighteous decrees and right before your eyes, not even, you know, basically hiding it anymore, as I mentioned earlier. All right. Okay. And people believing in that shit. Okay. People believing, okay, um, in these uh, basically wayward doctrines. Okay, these people are, are like zombies. They are on a trend, man. Okay? You see, whatever, you know, they get told, if it comes out of the mouth of, of these false prophets, of the Pope, they believe it. Okay, so these people are dumbed down. Okay, they believe in all of these, you know, um, miracles that are being done on the left-hand side. Okay? And it says right here, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to battle of to gather them to bat to the battle of that great day of the Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? Because there's war happening right now, man. Okay? There's war, okay, between the good and the evil right now. Okay? That's why Esau is heavenly pushing forth all of these different you know, uh, you know, juice, you know, you got to take this, you got to take that. Okay. You know, people are mourning, people are pissed off. There's a lot of things happening in the earth, turmoil, and so on and so forth. Okay. You know, he's attacking, you know, the minds of, of these children. Okay. The woman is completely gone. All right. You know, she thinks that she's above the man and so on and so forth. Just everything is contrary to the ways of the Lord. Yahabah Shimel Shai. Okay, because why? Because the scriptures talk about how that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So if the wicked has power over the earth, what do you think he's going to push forth? He's going to push forth wickedness. All right. And so they're getting ready to battle. Okay. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Okay. There's, there's war happening right now. Okay. In the spiritual realm. But guess what? There's also war that's going to happen in the physical realm here all right and so i just wanted to bring that out lord yahab will that you are edified and until next time shalom yahab